The Legend of Malin Kundak Once upon a time, in a seaside village in Padang, West Sumatra, lived a widow called Mande Rubaya with her only son, Malin Kundang. Mande Rubaya loved her son so much which turned Malin Kundang a spoiled child. One day, Malin Kundang suffered a severe sickness that his mother gave every cent of her life savings to cure his illness. Days, months, and years passed by. Malin Kundang turned adults and his mother an old woman. Malin Kundang asked his mother to let him hitch a dog ship nearby and wandered to the big cities to get better fortunes for the family. Mandy then yet his request and asked Malin to stay and take care of his mother instead. Mom, this is a once in lifetime opportunity for me. Not every year I ship these large ducks here. I want to take this opportunity to change our fate. Please, let me go. Malin pleaded with his mother. With a sad heart, Mandy finally kept his plea. Please be back soon, my child. I will be waiting for you here. Mandy cried. Day by day passed slowly while waiting for Malin. She prayed every single day for Malin to go home safely. To every safe crew and captain, she asked for Malin's whereabouts and did not get a single answer or message for her. Many years full of waiting paths and Mandy Rubaya grew older and weaker. While she heard the news from a ship's captain nearby that Malin married a noble and rich woman from a big city. Mandy, do you know that your son is now married to a beautiful woman, a daughter of a very rich noble, said the captain. Malin, my son, please go home soon. I'm already old and weak. Please be home soon. His mother prayed every day to meet her along the way that soon. Months later, another large ship dug near the village. It was the most luxurious and beautiful ships Mandy had ever seen. A pair of rich couple walked off the ship and last raised and gold embroidered a trace. Monday I immediately recognized the couple erased through the crowds and hugged the rich man in the last trees a tear. Malin, my son, you are back. Monday broke her tears happily and relieved. Why didn't you send me a message? I miss you, my child. Unexpectedly, Malin told and put Monday away from him. His wife also looked down on Monday without any respect. Malin's wife spat and shouted at Malin and Mandy. It is Rampel, old woman, your mother. Why you would lie to me, Malin? You said your mother is also a noble woman like me. Hearing that, Malin became furious and fetched his mark to fall to the sand. You mad woman, I am not your son. He snapped at his mother. Mandy Rubaya sunk in disbelief and hacked Malin's feet. Malin, oh Malin, I've been waiting for you this long. Why did you do this to me, your mother? Full of anger, Malin kicked his mother away. You are not my mother. You are ugly, poor, and dirty, yelled Malin. Mandy cried broken heartily. She felt weak, sad, and desperate, while Malin and his wife turned their back and walked away to their ship. The ship sailed away and crowds left Mandy alone by the shore. Mandy cried and prayed. Oh God, if he was the my son, I will forgive his action to me. But if it's Malin Kundak, I ask you for your righteousness. Immediately, the sky turned dark and the wind blew faintly. The rain fell upon the air with a destructive storm. The storm shook smiling ship fury standards hit the ship unforgettably and blazed into the pieces. The next morning, ships raked short near the village with a kneeling man shaped stone between the debris. The stone was believed as the curse from of Malin Kunda. 
milling of forgiveness from his mother until today. The moral of the story Love your parents unconditionally, in any condition, never forget their good deeds for us.